Well, you can definitely be assured that Team Scorpion will be solving the world's problems one episode at a time. There's always some major crisis on the brink of disaster that Team Scorpion kind of swoops in and saves the world. There was an automatic software upgrade in the LAX control tower. Now the entire system's down. Incoming flights, 56 of them, are out of comm range without landing guidance. Those planes run out of fuel. I'm really enjoying this season. I think the writers are, are enjoying um, writing for the characters more specifically. Welcome back to Scorpion, everyone. And everyone kind of has a more defined purpose this year, I think even than first season. I know I feel that with my character, Paige. It's really silly and funny this year. You got a new toy. Not a toy, a vintage super fun guy. Even more so than last year, like all the things that you liked about the first season of, of Scorpion. We're at 100, this thing doesn't have airbags. No, you know what, these speeds are useless. Go faster. The quirkiness of the characters, I think you're gonna see that even more so in the second season. I think the show's a little bit sexier this year too. If I do say so myself, they're just taking more risks, risks I think, with the, the dynamics between the characters. And we're also getting an opportunity to do things independently from each other and while still in communication. So it's, it's kind of interesting to see the team not always together, but um, separate and then how they come together and solve the problems uh, at the same time. So it definitely is the same fun, action-loving, big-hearted show that you had last season. I just think it's actually even more defined this year. So I'm really excited to be a part of it. The reason why I loved the pilot so much last year is because I think it's it. You'll see single mothers on TV, but it's a very different kind of single mother relationship. And then this relationship she has with Walter, you don't see that kind of relationship, that sort of forbidden relationship very much on TV. But I think that that's what makes the Paige Walter relationship unique from other TV relationships um, in any sort of romantic sense. I felt like maybe Scorpion was a little bit more of an underdog and we've been so consistent with the, our audience who's just week and week, they've come back. Even when we had big breaks, even when we had three weeks of repeats, I'd get really nervous for when a new episode would air because I would think, well, what if the people don't realize there's a new episode airing? And, and I just, I, I mean, I thank, thank the viewers for tuning in because they really, it just shows you how much awareness they have about a new Scorpion episode and how much they care. Oh,